Moving on to our fourth keynote address of the day, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Sanjeev Handa, Senior Vice President and Head of PR and Communications, Maruti Suzuki Limited. Hope it's fine on the mic. At the back, people can hear me. Great. Thank you very much, and I must thank Karan. He is not in the room, though I don't see him, for giving me an opportunity to be here today with you all. It's my privilege to be speaking to you all on this seventh, or uh, sorry, it's the fourth edition, I think, fourth edition of the Exchange for Media 40 Under 40. And after a great note that my friend Atul's just given to you on marketing and data sciences, it makes my task even more difficult to kind of keep you all engaged, especially when the note on the menu says that I'm just gonna give a keynote address. So I was actually wondering yesterday as to what should I speak. And thank you, Atul, I'm gonna borrow a few phrases that you had given. Create, curate, and cultivate is a good idea. I really take it back with me when I go ahead. So for today's theme, you know, for the summit today, I'm actually looking at uh, the topic which says era of millennials in the PR. Uh, how many millennials do I see in the stage here? I think by heart, including me, everyone. Oh, quite a few. Yes, we resonate. So I thought let's talk about the changing trends in communications and PR today for the millennials, keeping them in mind. So the past two extraordinary and challenging years that we've faced, we've transcended from a world where we are living in a volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous world, or simply known as a VUCA world to all. But the world, as we knew, is fast transitioning to a Bani world now, which is today very brittle, where people are more anxious, systems and processes are non-linear, and the situation on the ground is incomprehensible. What we therefore need to learn from this is to be resilient, attentive, adaptive, and transparent. So while on one side, as the world is changing, the customer on the other hand is fast learning and adapting to change. He needs and desires are also fast evolving. And so can our operations, which is marketing, advertising, PR, be unaffected? So let's talk about our millennial friends a little more, my everyone. Uh, you know, one of the most significant changes that we're currently seeing in our marketing and PR circles is the impact of the millennial generation or the Gen Y generation, as we call them. Millennials, who are currently the largest percentage in the workforce, are shaping the digital face of communications in several ways. For one, they are the fast embracing new technologies and social media platforms, such as Instagram, Snapchat, and using them to connect with audiences in more authentic and engaging ways. This is leading to a shift away from the traditional one-way communication strategies and towards need to more interactive two-way conversations. I like to quote Simon Sinek, who said, in marketing, is no longer about the stuff that you make, but about the stories you tell. The future of communications will therefore need to be driven towards carefully constructed and thoughtful content that engages readers and delivers information quickly and very concisely. Long features, clickbait articles, and paywalls may be shunned by future audience, and I would actually, this is exactly what Atul was mentioning in his converse a few minutes ago. Simply put, the peer industry will have to place more effort into creating frequent pieces of engaging content that will be driven out on online rather than through long case studies or feature-led articles in publications and dailies. To better understand the new generation's needs and wants and desires, we would need to embrace new technologies and formats. I'm sure none present here would disagree with me on that. Therefore, creating a system in which content is delivered digitally to masses and audiences will be the most effective way of promoting the reputation of brands. Primarily through blogging and supported with social media strategies, this will result in audiences being offered bite-sized 
snackable content at the click of a button and will turn have a huge, huge impact. To corroborate, let me say, uh, or rather share with you, how we are leveraging this communication at Maruti Suzuki. We recently celebrated our 40th anniversary, and I'm very happy and proud to say that in the last four decades, Maruti Suzuki has dedicated itself to put India on wheels and has led the change on the mobility revolution in India. Thank you. We have been constantly evolving ourselves to be relevant to our customers. We have been investing on non-traditional marketing initiatives and organizational capabilities that allow us to build relationship with these millennials. Our goal is to eventually cultivate a strong one-on-one -on -one or a small community like connection with customers and consumers alike. We believe that this can be achieved through initiatives that, are, that include ground events, referral programs, testimonials, recognitions from influencers, customer advisory panels, social and media online community marketing, to name a few. We are using influencers as a part of our key marketing and PR strategy to reach the target audience and promote our brands with sponsored content. We collaborate with these influencers to create branded events and campaigns. The way we hold our stories or we tell our stories over different decades have been directly related to what our consumers then desired. Early generation customers desired value for money, affordability, efficiency, like kind of traits from their cars, and our communication then mirrored on these aspects. Our campaigns, I'm sure you would recall, Petrol Khatamini Honda was a very famous and uh, great campaign of its time, to a Kitna Deti Hai, which followed a couple of years later. Rightly captured the pulse of the audience and reiterated the USPs that were aligned with the customers asked at that time. If you see the buyers of today, they've evolved. People today prioritize design, features, gizmos in their cars, and the way we market and communicate our products today highlights the same, as you can see it on the screen. Adding to the example, customers today are also preferring the whole buying experience. And talking about the whole buying experience, I'd like to share with you our premium retail channel, Nexa, is a prime example of that and how a brand needs to innovate and go back to the drawing board to evolve in a right manner. I'm sure you all would know by now and would have had a chance to experience Nexa at some stage or the other. We started Nexa about seven years ago. It has been built with an objective to offer customers new technology and pampering them with a global experience in retail cars. Today, under the Create Inspire philosophy of Nexa, we offer our customers three key experiential pillars of Nexa Music, Nexa Travel, and Nexa Journeys and Lifestyle. Apart from the great products, of course, which are the lineup at Nexa. Under Nexa Music, our purpose was to create new music that was original and inspiring, and hopefully creates India's next Grammy winner. Today, with season two, and a separate stage of the recent Lollapalooza, I think that's the right way to pronounce it, or Lollapalooza event that happened in Bombay, uh, we had a great show there. We had a nice stage among the other participants, and we can see the wave really forming from there. Next are journeys. We strive to create unique journeys that are adventurous and transformational. On the other hand, Nexa Lifestyle aims to create a new fashion lifestyle and is aspirational in nature as well. While all three of these work in tandem, we track and measure the success of all our campaigns in real time, which allows for more data-driven decision-making for the future. Today's audiences can see through authentic or disingenuous messaging. I feel millennials and most of us are therefore more likely to prioritize transparency and authenticity when it comes to them making brand choices. This has naturally led to an increased focus on listening and engagement in public relations. 
Instead of simply broadcasting messages, peer professionals are now working to actively listen to and engage with their audiences, which can lead to more meaningful and impactful communication of their brands and their stories. This includes utilizing customer feedback and reviews as well as monitoring social media conversations to understand what topics are resonating with these audiences. Furthermore, millennials are more socially conscious and they want to see companies and organizations taking a stand of important social and environmental issues. Again, a point which Atul had mentioned and I'm re-pressing it here. They are more likely to support and align themselves with companies that share support their values. This has been, or this has led to an increased focus on corporate social responsibility and sustainability within the corporates and also the PR industry. In conclusion, uh, the millennial generation is having a significant impact on the field of public relations, like for any other business vertical. They are driving a shift towards more interactive, data-driven, and socially conscious PR practices that prioritize transparency and authenticity. As PR professionals, it is important that we understand and adapt to these changes in order to effectively connect and engage with our audiences. By leveraging new technologies, focusing authenticity, and prioritizing social and environmental issues, we can create more meaningful and impactful communication that resonates with audiences. We shall therefore continue to witness integrated communications taking charge as the most important business function in almost all organizations and verticals. Through communication, to <coughs> sorry, through communication tools such as advertising, marketing, PR, social media, etc., you can provide clarity, consistency, and maximum communication impact. Using an integrated communication approach allows each tool to stand out and to reinforce the other because they work in synergy with a common goal. To sum, we can clearly see the importance of PR in this whole communication ecosystem and how integral it is to have an integrated communications approach. At the end, now that I'm here, I'd like to leave you with a small message or a small phrase for your idea to consume, to have an aim in whatever you choose to do. You may be marketing professionals, PR professionals, communication specialists, but just have an aim in whatever you choose to do. Be proactive and agile to respond to the business challenges. Be innovative, think out of the box, think new, and constantly think new. And above all, remain motivated, and keep yourself and your team's morale high. I firmly believe that only a healthy and a motivated team can propel the organization ahead. I thank you for your time, for your patience to hear me out, and thank you for having me here today. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you for the crisp and on-point delivery. Thank you very much.